TMD Sports is brought to you by Fanatics.com for all your official licensed gear. A tribute to a legend, Jim Brown. We got a new partnership with Sideline Sports and Let's Talk Sports and the downfall of the king in the playoff, LeBron James and the Browns' new logo. Let's have a conversation. You can catch us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Radio Line, and Spreaker. Let's get it. Good evening, YouTube. Good evening, Facebook, and all the social media networks. Once again, it's TMD Esports, and we talk about everything that's going on in the sports world and our beloved Cleveland Browns. Now, before we get to this show, man, we got to do a tribute. Let's introduce a cast. Aaron Sims is in the building. Aaron, let them know what's good, baby. What's good, man? It's all good, man. Let's go ahead and talk some sports. Have a good time. Let's get it. No doubt. Chrissy Acuity is in the building. How you doing, Pooh? <laughs> oh, I spent more time in my pool last weekend than I did out of the pool. So, you know, since I got that thing in, it's been nice. I love it. So I'm in great. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Oh, wow. This is kind of like a somber moment. As you well know, a legend passed away. And this is like our tribute to the legendary Jim Brown. Uh, he just this man opened up doors not only for civil rights he opened up doors for people in for football when it comes to gang violence this man was a speaker this man was a legendary actor as far as when it comes to black exploitation 100 rifles uh different things like that uh the dirty dozen this man it was an icon here in cleveland this and this is our tribute and it's a shame that the man you know i wanted to try to catch the man before something happened and it is what it is so i want to ask the cash what is y'all tribute? How do you feel about Jane, about uh, Jim Brown? Aaron, go ahead, my brother. Oh, uh, it's deep. It's deep for me. Um, is is he pretty much the reason I like football? I mean, my dad was a big Jim Brown fan, and it made me like the Browns, and you know, go to the Hall of Fame, and you know, growing up in the Hall of Fame, and you know, being close to a lot of the players who were inducted as a child and stuff like that. Like he always just had a special special spot, uh, spot in my heart even my son wore 32 his mm -hmm. whole um, high school football career because of Jim Brown and he's never even been born when Jim Brown was even thinking about football that's how deep the brother is and um, the things that he did outside of football man it goes on and on he's more than just a player he is a true icon he's in the Mount Rushmore of all sports you see what I'm saying? That's how Correct. deep his brother is. And um, he will be missed, but he had a great life, and we got to celebrate that. No doubt. Chrissy, how do you feel? Before we get on to any kind of tribute that the Browns should do, Chrissy, how do you feel about James Brown? James Brown. Actually, James Nathaniel <laughs> Brown. Yes. Jim Brown. Um, <laughs> I, I'm actually taking this a lot harder than I expected still. Um you know, I didn't grow up watching him. You know, he had retired by the time I was born and watching football, but he was one of my dad's favorite players. And, um, you know, I learned a lot about him. Um, I have a newfound respect for Jimmy and Dee Haslam because I found out that Jim Brown was pretty much pushed out of the Browns organization. And um, they brought him back into the fold when they took over the Browns. So because they had that much respect for him and they brought him in, like I said, it just, it touched me. And he doesn't want a big memorial service, of, you know, done for him in the city. He had made that clear to Jimmy and Dee before he passed away. So I'm not really sure what the city is planning on doing, if they plan on doing anything at all, but um our little group BFO is going to do a tribute. Of course, this will be on after that. But um, yeah, it's it sucks. We lost a legend, and I was hoping to be able to meet him this August at the Hall of Fame game. Right, correct. So yeah, I was looking forward to it myself, yeah. man. But you know, these I don't know what to say. You know, but he 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 will be missed. He's a great legend, great football player. Some people call him the goat. He will always be the goat to me. And so I want to ask you guys. What do you think the Browns should do as far as another tribute? Because they got the stadium. He's in the Hall of Fame. It's not a lot. What do you guys think the Browns could do, to, you know, as a tribute to uh, 
Jim Brown. Aaron, you want to go, bro? Yeah. You know, I like the idea of having the 32 on the side of the helmet. I mean, mm -hmm. and retiring the number, you know? Yeah. Um, I think the number yeah. should re be retired throughout the whole league, to be honest. You know, that's how mm -hmm. the brother was to me. But maybe I'm just, you know, sentimental and maybe I'm just playing favorites. But I just think he was that important to football because, you know, he just – he just was an awesome human human being, period. And, you know, that's that's pretty much enough because, you know, I'm already, you know, feeling it. You know that. So No yeah. doubt, no doubt. Christy? I'd like to see the 32, the classic, like, that looked like the Sharpie marker, like, drawn on 32. Mm -hmm. um, I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, we've got the statue that's in front of the stadium now. I don't think that they should name – the stadium after him because they're talking about possibly building a new stadium with a dome. So don't name this one after him and then tear it down. Um, definitely take the statue and all the plaques um, to the new stadium and maybe name the new stadium after him. But definitely, I agree with Aaron. Retire the number. No doubt. No doubt. I would say this is what I would like to see. You know, like I, said, I do like the idea of the numbers. Um, a section of the dog pound should just have number 32 on it so when them people come and they smashing i think that'd mm -hmm. be a great trip maybe at the you know at the when the beginning of the end zone or the end you know in that dog pond it's 32 with his colors and i think that would be a great tribute to him as well you know so it, it is what it is man it just mm -hmm. it sucks it really yeah, does, it does. <laughs> the man led a, a great life Really but he's not him. suffering anymore. I mean, think about it, guys. For a former NFL football player, he lived a very long life. And, you know, he's not suffering anymore. And like I said, I'm being selfish because I thought for sure I was going to meet the man in August. And I think I'm more sad about that. Yeah. And, you know, he he's pain free now and he's living the good life. So. Out, no doubt he was the same age as my father my father the same age you know same year i was like yeah. damn you know but ray i feel bad for ray ray met him multiple I know. times yeah, I know. you know what i'm saying <clears throat> ray's the first person i thought about yeah i did too yeah, me too did. me too yeah. yeah he knocked on ray's door to tell him he was in the hall of fame you know yeah. that's how it is I, you know and then you know and ray knew about it early like ray mm -hmm. knew about it so you know he handled you know you know, yeah, ain't nothing to say, man. That's just, yeah, just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. <clears throat> let's move on. You know, to yeah. we can get a little, little energy going. Yes, <laughs> get this show back so, moving fast. Boom. All right, as you Sorry. well know, and we're gonna get deep into this. <laughs> the finals is they almost here, man. And the Lakers have been eliminated, <laughs> <laughs> and Miami <laughs> Boston is hanging on by a thin thread. and how do y'all feel? Mm -hmm. We got to get into this. You know, Christy got upset about, you know, we was talking about the whole LeBron Come thing. On, Miami. So, I, I want to ask you, how do you feel about that now that LeBron, the supposed GOAT, has been knocked out of the well, Wait, wait, Let, Let's see how you feel about LeBron being knocked no, out. Ladies because first, ladies first. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. disappointed that he's not going to be uh, playing in the finals. So, you know. I mean, it is what it is. He's not going to play him, but Kevin Love still is at the Heat, so I'm pulling for him. Let's go, Kevin Love in the Heat. Let's do it. <laughs> Jimmy Buckets all the way. No doubt. <laughs> Aaron, my brother, how you feel about it, bro? Oh, man. You know I wanted LeBron to make a run, but it's not over for him. You know what I mean? Um, he keeps his body in shape. He's talking about retirement, but that's no, not, not. going to happen. That's no. not going to happen. He's just trying to deflect off the fact, and I hate to say this, of if his performance, you know, he showed his age in this yeah. in this series. He he, he scored he really, forty points in the last game, no? Yeah, but he only scored what? He scored thirty one in the first half. You yeah. know, nine points in the second <laughs> half of an elimination game is not acceptable. You know, by any terms. I mean, I love LeBron. That's my boy. But you know me, I keep it tree I ill. And, yeah. um, you know, at the end of the game, you know, to drive to the hole with 2.3 seconds left and not even get a shot off, that's damn near embarrassing. And I do like Michael Jordan's son, Jimmy Butler. Oh, excuse me. Um, Jimmy, yeah. Butler, <laughs> Jimmy Butler <laughs> playing uh, real good with the Heat because, you know, I, I wanted Kevin Love to succeed this year because mm -hmm. of everything he's overcome as a man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to see him, you know, in the victory circle. 
So I'm cheering for Miami. I know it is looking, you know, kind of kind of bleak because really, you know, the two best teams right now is the Nuggets in, in Boston as far as experience and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can't take nothing away from Nurkic. I know I'm jumping back and forth. But um we Good. was talking about LeBron. But what I'm saying is <laughs> I would love to see love in the in the finals. Mm -hmm. But Nurkic may be the best basketball player on the planet right now. The way that man is playing and with his high intelligence, MVP after MVP, it's hard to argue with what you see. I mean, that's high level basketball, man. This high level mm -hmm. basketball. And you got to give it to him. At least LeBron losing to the best. If he losing, he loses, lost to the best. Mm -hmm. That's a bad boy. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> hey, Marcus. Yeah, tell us how you feel. <laughs> All right. This, this is my take. I like LeBron. Don't get me wrong. But like I said, like mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of, he, he kind of burned me. Mm -hmm. Coming back. And then it's like, it's always some type of episode when LeBron, it's either you're taking your jersey off, throwing it to the side, ain't no more powder. And it's something at the end of when LeBron messes up them finals. That's why a lot of people in, in Shaq and him said the same thing. He gets to the finals. This is the second time he done got swept in the playoffs like that. You know, <clears throat> San Antonio, then, you know, so I, I, I kind of, I don't want to say I'm being a hater. I kind of bring me in. Which floor is downfall? Bring me in. I, I didn't. I didn't. Wait, Aaron, just, I, I'm, I'm just being 100. I didn't want to see hold it. Up, I was like, Ugh. Hold, but if he did, up. I would have been. Hold on, Chrissy. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. But like I said, I'm just keeping the 100. I could have went either way, but I was kind of a little pushing. Like, man, I don't want LeBron to get that because right. I don't like how he, I don't like how he do Cleveland like that, man. Oh. Like that. A lot of people Listen, feel that way. Okay. They don't like that shit. Right. When he but you left, know what? they was like, man, fuck him. I, I'm not saying right. to disrespect the man. I'm just telling you. That's what they said. I was like, wow. What other you know, championship we ever had? Correct. Listen, other than the 2016. On. Come on, man. You gotta get that. Hold on. Let me <laughs> speak. Let Go me ahead, make Chris. my point. Get him, Chris. I got get a good him. one. I'm going to get him. All right. Get first of all, first of all, Cleveland would have never gone to the finals, let alone won a championship the year that LeBron left. Okay. I get that. He went to Miami. Yes, he played down there. He won a championship there. And he went back to Cleveland and he won the championship when it was time and with the team right. he was supposed to. He did it the right way. And you know what? We're lucky that we had LeBron come back at all. Because you know what? Nobody grows up saying, I want to play for the Cleveland Cavaliers. No, Nobody. they all want to play for the Bulls. They all want to play for the Lakers. So you know what? In another Leave thing. the man alone. And I'm going I'm to piggyback what Christy said. If he, don't, if, he, if he don't leave, we don't get Kyrie. We don't get Tristan. We don't get Anderson Verajon. We don't even keep Z. You see what I'm saying? He had to leave to let thing. Cleveland build up and come on back. And he still won the championship with the sorriest roster in foot, in basketball. You felt the roster... You felt the roster that when he came back to was bad with Kevin Love no, and Kyrie? No, 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 no. I'm talking about Eastern, talking about Eastern Conference, when conference when Championship. When they went oh. to San Antonio, they was the starriest team in the championship history. But he got yeah. them there. You know, over yeah. I think it was Detroit at the time. He he, yeah. he ended a legacy. And ain't nobody even talking about that. He ended Detroit's second run at it. You know, ain't nobody talking about Michael Jordan getting swept when he was young against Boston. I know he got 63 points, but they lost. Yeah. <laughs> LeBron's 38. LeBron's 38. Get a man a break. I mean, AD And he's showed... not the only person on the team. You no. cannot say, like, oh, it's all on LeBron. And he shouldn't have had the ball. He shouldn't have <laughs> had the ball at the end, for real. They got that one in Miami, though. Hey. Well, if it wasn't for LeBron, they wouldn't have been there. So it is yeah. a, it's eighty two games, man. We talking about one shot. You gonna you gonna you gonna take away from LeBron for one shot? I'm not come gonna come on, take away from come, the man. On, son. Legacy come on, son. Come on, son. You just it's, you don't like just, LeBron. Just, a lot of people just, just don't There's like no LeBron. There's That's no why you, should, him. you should never be the king because they, they, they the crown is heavy. People yeah. don't like the king. Being the queen, I know. I got haters too. I know, man. Shoot, it's hard <laughs> on you, Christy, ain't it? I mean, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously had someone you probably block do. me. You probably do. Because his group didn't grow as big as BFO. So he got mad yeah. at me. And I'm like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> it probably like, was my it probably was my last mod. She blocked everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we got that off our chest. You know, I, if I'm a hater, it is what it is. I just you, you, know. you just don't uh, like it. Was a business you, decision. you just like who you want to like. You ain't got to yeah. like LeBron shit. 
I like LeBron, but like I said, no, I, you I, don't, I man. Wanted him to go down. <laughs> I wanted him to go down. I'm just keeping him. You, you don't like, like him. Man. You don't want to go down. You, you ain't but him. Aaron, you just don't like him, man. Aaron, you know what's the funniest part about this whole entire situation where Marcus is like, <laughs> you know, I don't like the way LeBron left. Up on my ass, guys. And how and how I'm defending <laughs> LeBron's business decision. The funny thing is, is I'm actually thinking with my head this time, and mm. guess who's thinking with his heart? <laughs> hey, I'm entitled, damn it. Yes, this, video said, this time you're right. I threw logic out the window this time. You're yes, right. Yes, you I did. For the first time I threw logic 14, out the window. 3. Right. But yeah. hey, he went down. So <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> hey, I didn't say he was gonna go all the way. I've been hoping for Kevin Love in the heat though. So I, I just, just so want to be stuff. Yeah. So how yeah. do y'all feel about the uh do you think Boston has a chance to come back? What do y'all think about that? Yeah, all the time. I hope not. I hope not. not. I hope not. <laughs> but all the yeah. time, because Boston is a proven champion. You know what yeah, I mean? No you always got to get. You always got to get a champion swinging chance. You three know what one I mean? though. Three one, bro. Three one though. But we was three one against against the Warriors. You oh, see what I'm saying? Right? I just can't yeah. count out Tatum. That's my thing. I think that's yeah. what it is. I think that's what it is with me. I just don't like counting out young players. And oh yeah, I hope Miami wins. I hope they go ahead and get it over <laughs> with. But but yeah. what I'm saying is I just won't count them out yet. Only mm-hmm. only one I count out right now is the Lakers because they out. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Chrissy, sure. how do you feel? About of course I want the Heat to win. Can, I love okay. love. can they can they if they finish can, this off? Yes. Can they beat Denver? Probably not. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, yeah. probably not. Yeah, Denver, it's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. <sighs> All you right, know, so. something could happen crazy. Like someone could not finish the series because maybe they get hurt. It, to be <laughs> yeah, there it is, Aaron. There it is. Yeah, there it she, is. Uh, no, but it ain't gonna happen. work. It ain't gonna work. You know why I'm gonna tell you? <laughs> Nobody tell you gonna work because the gold nuggets. We going all back to gold currency. It's kind of. Oh, it's no. kind of. It's kind of. I think everything's set up. So it's kind of letting us know gold it's- nuggets. Going back to gold back currency. Everybody going asset back to around the world. We watching Fiat crum- um, crumble. So we gonna go from the Miami Heat. We are gonna bring the Heat on the yes. Nuggets, and yes. the Nuggets gonna win the championship. Yeah. And that's because I believe everything is set up. So the nervous everything the Nuggets is set gonna up. win the championship. The Nuggets right. gonna win. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. For the last part, cause we getting over, we getting against it. As you well know, the voting is out for the Browns' new logo. We started out with five. Now we got four. And I, I don't know if you guys have seen the logos, right? Well, two, excuse me. We have two. What do you guys feel about that new logo? Hopefully the two logos that's left as far as the final, as far as any type of nostalgia when it comes to those logos. Chrissy, how do you feel? Go ahead. Bro. Oh, okay. I'll go first. Because she can't uh, help herself. Lord have mercy. <laughs> no, I was saying Aaron go first, but I'll go first. I don't care. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So I like the Mastiff dog logo that looks really similar to this one that has like the the explanation of all the different little things on it you know it's got ohio and it's got um the guitar pick for the hall of fame and it's got the little bridge under his nose for yeah. um the guardian bridge it's got history it's got substance behind it it's not just this cute little puppy dog or a cute yeah. little elf i mean yeah the elf is cute but you know but that ain't what yeah. got us. What are we here? So are they going to take the elf off the field and put this logo on here now? Are they going to leave the, the elf on the field? Elf's gone. The elf's gone? Yeah, because that, They that, did that, that to make money. I, I told you that was a marketing ploy. Last year, I wasn't feeling that shit. I told you it was a marketing ploy. They wanted to make money. Yep. I'm getting out of here. Bear, how you feel the about the logo? I'm going to piggyback off both of y'all. One, Marcus was right. We should have had the bulldog instead of the elf last year. Yes. Even though I support the elf. Marcus yes. was right. I, and two, yes. Christy is right. The logo she picking is right. You know why? Yeah. Because yeah. the Bulldogs is really from Canton, Ohio. No the doubt. Bull, that's where they get it right. from. The Hall of Fame. We are the Hall of Fame team in Cleveland Browns. They came and got Paul Brown. Point blank, we are the staple for the NFL. So we might as well go ahead and be dogs about it. Yes. Put it on there. I'm loving every I'm loving everything about it. I just want to I just want to enjoy the ride because this season 14 and 3, just like Chrissy said. Ooh, I'm, oh. I'm just enjoying the ride because I'm watching yes. this defense. I'm watching this defense even Ooh, I can't wow, wow. Marcus, you know, I think I'm the best running back since Jim Brown. And even I, I can't that. run on I can't even <laughs> run on that defense. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm all with it. I'm all with it. I want to see Nick Chubb's face when he see when he hears this. <laughs> 
Hey, Nick, Nick, hey, Nick, Nick is good. He comes from Chubb Town, um, mm-hmm. Georgia, but I come mm-hmm. from Sims Town, Southern South Carolina. Yep. And you know, I'm just trying to say we run a little bit harder. We a little bigger yeah. than he was. <laughs> he didn't show up for camp, and they they complaining now. Miles, I they said that. Chubb went out and got some massages. I hope he wasn't with Watson. Hey, <laughs> he got to get his legs done. He got to get his yeah. legs done. No you it don't pay. It don't pay to run around when you know the plays. Miles, you got to lift weights. Miles, you got to get aggressive. Yeah. Miles, you got to get your dog face on. But one thing about Chubb is he follows the blocks. Just keep your legs healthy and keep on running and running and running and running and running. Yeah. Leave Chubb the fuck alone. Chubb don't do nothing wrong. They yeah, Chubb doesn't wrong. need to be there. That's Miles that's should be no. there just because there is so many more new defensive players as a leadership position. He right. should be there. And he I'm kind of disappointed you know, in that. I mean, it's voluntary, but I think he should have been there. Mirion you know. Winfrey showed up. Nah, nah because it, you know, dude, the thing is, because they dogs. They dogs. <laughs> better. They dogs. They got to get together and grumble and bark at each mm-hmm. other and see yes. who lift the most, who been working out. They got. They got. They got. They got yeah, they got to do that. They got to do that. But Chubb, I bet you Chubb be there if Hunt was there. How about that one? Oh yeah. I if his buddy, if his buddy was there, he'd be there. How about I that? I think one? that's the statement that he was trying to make. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. There's still hey, a chance, huh? man. It's still a chance that, like I said, that Zeke. I told that Zeke that's bullshit. They got a chance, like, man. Wait. I think you just wait. But why wait? Because the longer they wait, the less they can give Kareem. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They let Kareem go and, okay, we bring you back. Veteran minimum. And what is Kareem yeah. going to do? You know what I'm saying? If he want to continue playing, I just hope he does get somewhere and he gets some money. But this is not going to be the type of money, man. Oh, sh- they kind of... Man, they oh, phased man, they him out. Like, they oh, phased him out. They, they F Kareem. So they owe Kareem another year. I, ain't, no I don't care because they knew the year was over. They phased him out. Because they knew they weren't going to use him for the future because they didn't want his money to be in that high demand. If they was to mm-hmm. give him the ball a lot more last year when they needed to, and they know they did on skill. purpose, just like mm-hmm. we talked to Metcalf, we know about phasing a player out. Correct. So we're going to recall what we know from another pro athlete that played for the same organization, but maybe different mm-hmm. owners. So we just going to say we saw that. We caught that shit. Yeah. So just as fans, let them know that we caught that shit. And go ahead and sign Kareem because you ain't gonna get nobody better for the price that know the team yeah. that got the same love for the team. He wanna win a championship yeah. in the Super Bowl with Cleveland just as bad as I want to see Cleveland win a championship. Mm-hmm. So so really cut the bullshit, sign the man, and go ahead and make the fans happy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, they they're finally listening to us about the elf. Maybe if we speak loud enough about Hunt, they'll hear us <laughs> about that too. You know? Yeah. I mean well, I know. I know personally, Stefanski don't like my ass, but it is what it is. <laughs> I told you to be nicer to the man, but of course, hey, he's hey, not signing hey, the paychecks hey, either. Hey, hey. I, I, he, if, if he ever got him on the show, I'm going to keep it 100 the same way. Like if Mike Tyson came on this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, man, I, you got you done some questionable shit. Can you explain? And <laughs> we had to see, you know, Mike. Man, but, I'm not fucking with Mike. Man, I, oh, I would love I, to meet Mike. Tyson. I would probably, I, 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 would, I would like to talk to him because I ain't got nothing negative to say about Mike for real. No, I don't yeah. believe he, he did nothing wrong. You know, yeah. I don't believe the hype. Yeah. You know, you know. My thing is this, Christy, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm, I'm not gonna be too bad on the on the thing, but I'm just it's gonna be a sound bite. But go you ahead. do not go, you do not go down on a girl if you raping her. Cause why is you gonna try to pleasure her like oh, that? Oh, I wasn't talking raping, about that. Oh no, that's no, what I'm I, talking about. That's the only negative thing yeah. I ever known a man to, to be. No, I of. didn't. Didn't he hit Robin Givens? Yeah, she probably was talking a little too much. Like sometimes, no. <laughs> Christy. Sometimes oh, you gotta. No. She had her mama living in the crib. She was Black talking. Judas Brad Pitt was at the crib. Man, shoot, you better duck. Brad Pitt then. <laughs> hey, you better duck. Hey, hey you know we love Jim Brown, Brad Pitt. but hey, Brad Pitt's a brave motherfucker, man. Because I wouldn't be messing with Mike Robin. Wait a minute, hey, hold up. He know he was oh, gonna be there. Yeah, he yeah. Ain't know he's gonna be there. And you know, Robin Givens, you might put it on the line. Back in the day, you might have to put it on the line. Brad just, <laughs> Brad just got famous. He had to put it on the line. Uh, he was a young, he was a young man. Fuck Mike yeah. Tyson. I'm going to put it on the line. <laughs> like, straight up. I ain't scared of no man. Right, you can't bro. kill me. 
Let's go. I think he has <laughs> redeemed himself. I don't think that he's that type of person anymore. Like, I believe that he is completely <laughs> changed. And I honestly, I would love to meet him. I would love to talk to him because, yeah. like, him doing the gummies that are shaped like Holyfield's ears, like, how <laughs> this dude's personality has got to be off the charts. Like, and yeah. I think we would jug it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I check yeah. out his we podcast do. every now and then, man. You know, it is, it is what it is. All right, y'all. We up again. <laughs> we done went left. We done went left. I know, oh, I know. We, we, we always do, though. Home. We just, it's just about having fun and, and showing love and to the sports world, to all our icons, the people that we believe in and love and like I said, Jim. But it is what it is. Like I say every week, go Browns, bitches. And we'll see y'all next week. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Brown's daughter came to the house. Jim Brown uh, found out. And he came to the house and Rick Rick vanished. <laughs> it wasn't nothing happening between uh, Jim Brown's daughter and Rick. But just the presence of Jim Brown coming to the house scared Rick to death.